Welcome to Grape Street. Today, I'm gonna to take you behind the scenes at a home inspection. I've been through over 1,000 home inspections personally, totaling over 5,000 hours, but today, we're gonna to keep it light. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be funny. We're gonna get our hands dirty, so let's get started. What we have right here is a telltale sign of water damage that has come into the ceiling from the floor above. Two reasons why this for sure is water damage. One is it's been painted, which means it's been repaired. The other thing is you see this line that runs on the ceiling. That line is actually where the two pieces of drywall meet and the water has sat on the tape, eroded it, and eventually you now see the two pieces of drywall revealing that there has been some sort of water damage here. The other thing is this is right next to an air duct and air ducts are known for carrying water, whether it's through the plumbing or it's condensation coming out of the AC unit. This is something that we have to inspect. There are three things you need to have a great home inspection. Number one, of course, is a great agent. I recommend the O'Byrne team. I have a little bit of a biased opinion about that, but it's important to work with people that have done a lot of business and know what they're doing. <laughs> I almost fell. Number two, you need a great home inspector. One of the best ways to get a great home inspector is ask around. Primarily, if you have a great agent you trust, ask them. Real estate agents have been on more home inspections than anybody you will ever meet. Totaling over 5,000 hours. Number three, you need to carve out some time. Home inspections on a condo take three to five hours. On a house, they can take four to seven hours, depending on the size. So remember, you need a great agent, you need a great inspector, and you need a little bit of time to make this work. Anytime we see cracks on the concrete, especially on the first floor, it's something that we should look at. But rest assured, in this particular case, this property built in 2006, well, this is just veneers. This is literally just for aesthetics. Underneath this concrete is actually where the foundation is. Now, it might concern you that some of these cracks are the width of a quarter, which most foundation contractors say means it's something that you should probably worry about. But rest assured, this is just for looks, and this is probably just surface level. When you're doing a home inspection, sometimes you get confused as to what really matters. And so I try to help my clients by dividing it into the major systems of the property. So number one, you gotta look at the roof. Number two, you have to look at the windows and doors. Number three, it is very important to look at the plumbing. Number four, the electrical. And finally, the foundation of the home. The master bedroom bathroom is the most important room in the house. That's because if you're gonna buy this house and pay the mortgage payments, this is a room you're gonna spend most of your time in. So a hinge like this really needs to get repaired. The nice thing is these hinges are indestructible, and this is a pretty easy fix. Window tinting is a great way to decrease heat, increase privacy, and actually give a great aesthetic to the exterior of a building of this caliber. But window tinting has a lifespan and it appears that this tint, this film, is at the end of its life. And when it's like this, though it's a simple fix, it makes a huge impact. We heat it up, take it off, and reapply a new tint. All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in. I hope you learned a lot my years of experience in real estate are something that I cherish and I hope that I've given you something that helps you on your next home inspection. Obviously, this was a very easy home inspection. This is a beautiful property built by an incredible architect and designer and it was just built 14 years ago, so of course it's in great shape. But no, not all homes are built the same, so all home inspections are going to be different. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, let an O'Burn team agent know.